To create this patch I start with a grid SOP. From the parameters decrease rows and increase columns. Then add a twist and increase the strength. Change these numbers to create the shape you want. I want a longer shape. From the grid parameters increase the size. To render this shape, add geometry and camera comp then render top. From the mat operators, select line and assign it to the geometry. If you want depth, from the line material parameters, define near and far distances and their width. I also added a noise SOP to have a slight movement. So from its parameters, decrease amplitude and roughness, and slightly increase the period. Add another null after the noise. I want to use it to create the lines that follow the shape. Right click on the output of the null and from chop tab add sop to chop. To see the result add a null chop and from the sop tab add chop to sop. This is the shape after recreating it from the channels that were made the original shape. To change the channels wave shapes I add a lookup chop and connect a noise chop to the first input. and the main chop to second input of lookup chop. So the channel's values changed and look like this now. Use it for chop to sop. From the noise chop parameters change amplitude and period to control the amount of the lines. It's possible to animate these lines. For example, I use abs time.seconds for the Z field of transform parameter. Multiply the number to make it faster. Adjust the parameters of noise to get an interesting shape. Add null sop and render it. Add geometry and render top.
Now I have two renders in my patch. This one must render the second's geometry. From the parameters of these renders, leave the camera the same for both. For geometry, drag and drop the geometry node on geometry field. Then add composition top and connect the renders into it. And change the composition operation to over. Actually my shape is invisible because I have to have light or for example line material. These random lines have start and end both on the original shape. The lines are not reaching the whole shape. To fix that I have to make the noise chop length as the same as the shape original channels. To do that I connected the sop to chop to the input of the noise. Adjust parameters as you want. To see the lines clearly change the color of the line material. See the lines are following the shape edges. Change the shape or create new ones to see the effect. To create more details I turned on the draw point from the line material parameters and changed the type to square. Make more movements and see the lines behavare. Then add transform sop after the twist and use abs time dot seconds for to rotation. You can increase columns or rows and leave the other to a low amount. And with white lines the work is done. Have fun. See you later.